Hey guys, welcome back to Bambi TV. Guys, we're gonna be reacting to Christian asks Muslim Christian asks Muslim we go to heaven through Jesus people the to him or Muhammad. This is like a nine kata. Guys, let's get straight into this. Well, let's just get straight into this. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Click to subscribe, believing beings. And press the bell icon to get notified about new videos. My name is Samuel, and I'm a Christian. Yes, Samuel, you're most welcome. You're speaking from the beach? Yes. Yes, Samuel, you're most welcome to ask your question. Yes, my question is, uh, do Muslims believe that Jesus is the Son of God? And also that they believe that uh, Jesus was a messenger, like just like... Uh, Moses, Elijah, and the rest. Uh, uh, also, is there a difference if going to heaven, do they go to heaven through Jesus or through Muhammad? Thank you. The brother has the question, Brother Samuel, do Muslims believe that Jesus is the Son of God or do they believe he's a messenger like Moses and Samuel and others? And do they go to heaven through the teachings of Jesus or other people? Peace be upon him. Point of the person who followed the teachings and commandments of Almighty God, then most verily we believe that Jesus was Son of God. But if you mean no, he was the begotten Son of God, then we don't believe in that. Because there's a verse in the Bible, in the Gospel of John, chapter number 3, verse number 16, which says that God soul of the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, whosoever believeth in him shall not die but have everlasting life. Now this verse, if you read the Revised Standard Version, revised by 32 Christian scholars of the highest eminence, backed by 50 different corporate denominations, they say that this word begotten is an interpolation, is a fabrication, is a concoction, and they've thrown it out of the Bible. So this word begotten is an interpolation. So but naturally, we Muslims do not believe. Guys, okay, let's accept the fact he said begotten is a fabrication. Sorry for, 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 sorry for actually personal. But let's read the verse again. For God so loved the world that he gave okay, let's leave the begotten that he gives that he gave his son. So whoever believe in him shall not perish by everlasting life. It's still what we are trying to say. Because Jesus said, if you read the Bible very well, I know a lot of people haven't, even a lot of Christians still haven't, but they read verse, 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 but they haven't read the Bible as a whole. If you read the Bible very well, Jesus said if you believe in me, you will enter the king, you enter the house of my father. So the verse still is telling you to believe in Jesus. And I'm not going to go for that. I'm not going to go for that. Let's just get back into this. That God can beget. So where is the question of Jesus being the begotten son of God? Son of God means godly person. We have got no problem. But we have not kept yeah. this attribute. What we believe that Jesus, peace be upon him, is the messenger of God. And they asked me the question. Do you believe that a person can go to heaven with the teachings of Jesus, peace be upon him? At the time of Moses, Moses' teachings took a person to heaven, peace be upon him. At the time of Jesus, peace be upon him, whatever Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, preached, what the teachings of Almighty God, if you follow Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, you will go to heaven. But Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, also said in the Gospel of John, it's clearly mentioned in Gospel of John, Chapter number 16, verse number 12 to 14, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, I have many things to say unto you, but he cannot bear them now. For he, when the spirit of truth shall come, he shall guide you unto all truth. He shall not speak of himself. All that here shall he speak. He shall glorify me. Here Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is saying that there is another messenger to come. I have many things to say unto you, but you cannot understand them now. When he, when the spirit of truth shall come, talking about Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he shall guide you to the truth. He shall not speak of himself, all that he shall he speak. Your Prophet, Jesus, peace be upon him, is prophesying of the coming of the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Today, if you want to go to heaven, you have to follow the teachings of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And that is not only mentioned in the Quran, it's even mentioned in the Bible, that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, <coughs> that I have many things to say unto you, but you cannot bear them now. For he, when the messenger of God will come, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he will guide you all truth. So brother, at the time when Jesus Christ, peace be upon his life, you have to follow his teachings. Today, 
you have to follow the teachings of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Hope that answers the question, brother. Brother, yes. uh, do you believe there's one God? Yes, I believe there's one God. Do you believe Jesus is God or do you believe Jesus is messenger of God? I believe Jesus to be the son of God. No, fine. Son means a godly person, no problem. But do you believe that he's God himself? I believe no. he's the son of God, not on the same level as God. But very good. Not the same level, very good. Son of God means messenger of God, no problem. Do you believe that Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God? Um, honestly, I have not read the Quran. Okay, so I, I'm, what I request I'm you. At a disadvantage. No, but my son gave a talk, brother, on similarities between Islam and Christianity. He gave so many references from the Bible. Did you hear it or not? I've heard it. So do you believe in it or not? Do you believe in the Bible? Yes, I do. So the Bible clearly mentions another messenger is going to come. His name is Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So when the Bible says believe in Prophet Muhammad, why don't you believe? I believe that the Bible refers to the Holy Spirit as the messenger. No, if you read the Gospel of John, chapter number 16, verse number 7, it says that it is expedient for you that I go away. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, saying, for if I go not away, the comforter shall not come. For if I depart, shall I send him. The criteria for the comforter to come is that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, should depart. The Holy Spirit was already there before. Guys, he just said something. And there was a day of passing through a TikTok video. I'm sorry. Don't think I'm coming out some Muslims. I, I'm not. I'm just mis making my observation. What he said right now, uh, Jesus said, if I don't go, the spirit of truth won't come. If I don't go, I won't send the spirit of truth. So if Jesus is a messenger, how is he able to send Prophet Muhammad? Because Jesus himself said, I will send the spirit of truth. So, like, I was watching this. A Muslim asked a Christian this. Then another Christian answered it like it was a editing of a clip. Then the other Christian answered that if Jesus sent the comforter, which wasn't claimed to be Muhammad, <laughs> Prophet Muhammad, peace be unto him, that means Jesus is actually God if he's able to send Muhammad to it. So, like that kind of verse got me thinking. Right, I don't know if you make research as hard as I do, but tell me what you think about what I just said in the comment section. Guys, let's get back. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, came on this earth. The Holy Spirit was there when Jesus was being baptized, peace be upon him. So how can you refer to the Holy Spirit? The Holy Spirit appeared when um, the apostles they started speaking in tongues. No, but doesn't the people. prophecy says only if Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, departs, will the comforter come so this comforter in no way can refer to the holy spirit how come you're believing in that aren't you making a mistake i'm believing that the the, the holy spirit appeared after jesus died no no I mean, the bible says that that yes. we don't believe in the bible wasn't the holy spirit there at the feast of pentecost when jesus was being baptized wasn't the holy spirit there it's mentioned in the bible the Holy Spirit was there in the womb of the Elizabeth. Yes. Brother, do you know your Bible or not? I do. So the Holy Spirit was there before Jesus Christ came into the earth. Peace be upon him. That means that comforter cannot be the Holy Spirit, right or wrong? I cannot confirm. Or oh, anyway, brother, go back, do your research, <laughs> and I'll try and find out who is this messenger who Jesus Christ, peace be referred to, and I pray to Allah that may he guide you to the truth. Amen. Yeah, it's to be honest, uh, if I'm being honest, I like the way Dark Knight actually answers questions. Like, he's not trying to impose anything on you, he's just trying to let you know what he thinks is right. So, you have to take it or not. Like, he's not imposing it on you. But if we go about the Holy Spirit, based on what I have been taught, I will just say what I have been taught. So, the Holy Spirit was actually here when, before God, before Jesus came. I remember Jesus said before Abraham I was. Before Abraham came, I am. Before Abraham I am. What am I saying? But Jesus actually said before Abraham came, he was there before Abraham. You see, and I, it, it's meant to be that Abraham was actually the first prophet. Yes, I think so. So people are going to say, um, I don't know my facts, but 
You can prove me wrong, but I think Abraham is actually the first prophet. For Jesus to say before Abraham was there, before Abraham came, he was there. It means that he has been there. And he had knowledge he, that he has been there. The Holy Spirit has been there, but he was unable to manifest his power. But Jesus said, if I go, the Comforter will come. So the Comforter came immediately as God left, as Jesus left. When Jesus ascended to heaven, the disciples went to the upper room and started praying. Then the Comforter came, and when the Comforter came, they were fire on their head and they were speaking in other tongues. That and that was a festive period. And people from different tribes came together and they were able to understand what they were saying. I don't know if a lot of you Muslims know about this story, but it's written in the Bible. They were able to understand what the disciples were saying. So after that, the disciples were able to convert, I think about 10,000 people. Yes, that single night. So you won't blame prisoners for believing the Holy Spirit is actually the comforter. Like, I just want you to know where most Christians are coming from because some people just think that, oh, they are wrong. But like, I like the fact that I feel everyone's supposed to know where someone's coming from before you kind of judge or come to a conclusion to it. So that's why I'm just trying to explain the Christian version for you guys. Guys, just like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Peace.